Hey, Kentucky, this is Mary Jo Perino. Tonight, some wild allegations lead to a house cleaning of the UK cheerleading staff. NASCAR and horse racing resume, and the state prepares for the next step of reopening. All that and more is next on Hey, Kentucky. Welcome to Hey, Kentucky, along with LEX 18 Sports Director Keith Farmer. And Keith, I bet in a million years you never thought we'd be starting the show off with this story tonight. Not at all, but it's making headlines all across the country. It really is. So we begin with today's big news from the UK campus. Four coaches with the university's championship caliber cheerleading program have been dismissed from their duties after a three-month investigation found they failed to provide reasonable oversight during off-campus events. Head coach Jomo Thompson and assistant coaches Ben Head, Spencer Clan, and Kelsey LaCroix are now gone. The university says the group did not take action after inappropriate conduct by members of the cheerleading squad took place at off-campus events. But regrettably, the integrity of the program has been compromised by inappropriate behavior uh, by some squad members during off-campus trips and lacks oversight of the coaches and, and the advisor. An extensive investigation found hazing activities, alcohol use, and public nudity by some members of the cheerleading squad during annual retreats and out of town trips. Some of the poor behavior may have been practiced and tolerated for some years. The investigation also found a lack of oversight and poor judgment by T. Lynn Williamson, who served as the cheerleading program's advisor for four decades. The investigation found no evidence of sexual assaults or misconduct, which is good news, but Keith, my goodness, this rocks the, the national championship uh, t caliber team. It's crazy. It blows your mind. 24 national championships. They finished six times as a runner up. So when you talk about this program, you talk about it being one in the mix year in and year out. You would think it would be at a high level all the way around. But obviously there was a lot of stuff going on that it appears a lot of people knew about. Yeah, and, and maybe for years, it's not just this this particular group. Some of this stuff they've found had been going on uh, really since Jomo was on the team himself. And, and even further back, we were hearing about some of the chants being developed in the 70s that they were singing. So it, it really is a kind of a culture that seems to be going on for years and years. All right, wild story. It was